Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Jennifer Kim Like Vidovich and I am on the Awareness Raising Revolution mission. And today's video is about how to find out what it is that you really want. In order to, well, go through this video in a very organized way, I created a list with all the points I want to talk about. So I will just read them through you right now. And then we start to, well, just speak about it, discuss, share our opinions. So how to find out what it is that you really want. Step number one, remove mental limitations completely and try to see everything from a neutral, everything is possible kind of view. Why is this so important? Let's say you stuck somewhere in a job and you are just extremely unhappy then you, of course, everyone has dreams and desires and you want to change something, but your mind immediately tells you, oh, this is impossible, this will not work whatsoever. When you are not mentally strong enough to, I'm sorry, my nose is running. When you are not mentally strong enough to tell yourself that everything is possible, what happens then is, you have your dreams and desires, you're trying to change your life for the better, but your mind is immediately blocking you, telling you this is not possible. And when the mind tells you that something is impossible, it doesn't start searching for solutions. And if you are not experienced in overcoming the mind, which is basically trying to stop us at all times because the mind doesn't like changes and um, always wants to be in the comfort zone, you cannot build a life that will really fulfill you and mean the world to you, so to speak. So number one, remove mental limitations. Okay, so number two is find out who you are right now. Really take a close look at yourself, write down your day, like how is, how is a casual day looking for you? What are your main thoughts? Um, what are your patterns? What are your habits? What brings you joy? What drains your energy? That's basically just a current reality checkup so that you know, okay, this is how my life looks right now. This is how I feel most of the time. This is what I'm doing most of the time. Just a neutral um, observation of yourself. Mm, okay, then you write a list with everything you do not want to do anymore. When I did that for the first time, <laughs> I basically exploded on the papers. I'm like, I don't want to do this. I hate this. I absolutely never want to do this again. Never want to speak to that person. Never want to feel that, that way. So I literally wrote down and believe me, the second you start to write down all the things that you don't want, there are so many things, so much. And that's perfection because what you do after you're done with exploding on the papers with everything you don't want anymore, you convert it. So I did it like this. I was um, folding a paper in the middle and then I wrote down everything on the left that I hate, that I don't want, never be, never do again. And then I took another pencil and I was literally converting every, everything. So for example, I never want to feel small and insecure again. Okay, we start easy here, <laughs> um, but oh, sorry, my nose, just a second. Okay, I'm back. So I never want to feel insecure and small ever again. Of course, sounds unrealistic right now, but hey, we want to become better, right? So when we write down that, what do we really want? We want to be confident. So I was writing down, I want to feel confident in my own skin. And this takes some time, of course, but you will feel so connected afterwards to yourself because it's like a shift in energy. Suddenly your focus is not on the things you don't want anymore because you created all the things that you want. And that's exciting and that's uh, uplifting and empowering. So then the next step is now that we know what we want based on what we don't want, um, it is important to get clear about who you want to be and that can be small. So for example, when I started, it was, I want to be successful. I want to build my own business. I want to be free. I want to be financially independent. I want to become a mom. I want to have beautiful, meaningful relationships. So all these things, I checked 
in with myself what it is that I want and then the person I want to become. So for example, my personal role models are Angelina Jolie, Oprah Winfrey and Elon Musk energy-wise and how they are so like centered in what they want to do for humanity and I love that I'm inspired by people who are brave and who want to make the impossible possible in order to serve humanity for the greater goods. So get clear about who you want to be and really just who you, not what you think someone wants you to be, just ask yourself who do I want to be, how do I want to live and how do I want to engage with others? How do I want to show up for my family? How do I want to show up for my work? All these things are very important to get clear about. And then another thing. Now we already have a lot of creative, beautiful juices flowing. So what I did then is break out of your routine. Do, do, it, do your day differently. Um, we observed our casual days and they're usually always the same, right? So of course you're like not really inspired or aware because you're on autopilot most of the time. So with breaking out of routines and comfort zones and maybe even already habits and patterns, um, we activate completely different parts in our brain which deliver us different insights, different thoughts, different dreams, desires and like a spark, you know, we we move from being and moving and living and working and speaking and talking and everything <laughs> from autopilot into awareness and I'm telling you guys, when you become aware of who you are, who you want to be, the life you want to live, magic starts to happen, suddenly everything feels so much more exciting Every day feels brand new. You're full of energy, full of joy and happiness. You really want to get up and get out and do something and be more of yourself. So breaking out of your comfort zones. Um, and also, so once I had a conversation with my grandma and what really inspired me was this. Um... Just imagine for a second that you would have been born in a different country, having different parents, a different religion whatsoever. Who do you think you would be then, considering that the same soul would be inside of your body? So me, I'm born in Germany in a middle class family, if so to say. I was imagining being born in the slums of India. Um, taking the fact for granted that the soul would be the same, just the body and the life circumstances, everything would be different. But, and then what I realized is when I remove all of this, how my body looks like, my parents, my friends, the school I went to, we can remove everything and the only thing that stays the same, it doesn't matter where you are, is the source, the life spark that's within you. So basically, it, at the end, it doesn't really matter where we are from, how we look like, how old we are, family, friends, because yes, they influenced us, but that's all mentally and the experiences we have, we have, mm, well, experienced from wherever we are from and our upbringing and the school and everything. But nevertheless, we can completely change it all if we start self-educating ourselves, if we open ourselves up for, well, being someone else, being something new, because so very often when we grow up, like we get programmed and educated and all of these things stick on us like glue, like glue on a paper. And we think, oh, this is now who I am. And then sometimes to imagine that this is, you can start all over and you're a blank a blank piece of paper really frees you from all these, all the things you think you are, which you're actually not, you know? So this was really helpful for me. And then another tip. So when you start to really take a close look at yourself, analyze and dream and remove limitations, just observe the answers without judgment. Because obviously, if you start changing on the inside with becoming more aware of your current state and then you 
get to know who you want to become and then there is this gap in order to move from A to B, um, we need to let go of a lot of things which will then obviously naturally be replaced with new beliefs, new thoughts, new habits. Suddenly you, let's say for example, you have been a swimmer for your entire life, but then suddenly you have this urge inside of you to go for a hike. Then the thing is that hopefully you will be brave enough to accept that when you change on the inside, your outer world will also change, but you need to be brave enough to do these actions. Because your inner voice will tell you exactly what you need to do after you got clear about where you are right now, got clear about where you want to go and who you want to be. And then in order to, well, thrive from A to B, new habits, new thoughts, new beliefs, new patterns are needed. Um, and the universe will tell you what you need to do and you need to be brave enough to just do it and let go of your old self, your old identity, which was serving you up to this point, but is not needed anymore to fulfill your future potential to live the life of your dreams. Um, okay, so the next one is, learn how to align everything you do with the life you want to have, the person you want to be and the chances you want to get. Do more of what makes you happy, excited and joyful every single day. So you know who you are right now. You know who you want to be. Let's say you wake up tomorrow and for example, you have been, I take the most obvious one. You were always someone in the mornings who was drinking a cup of coffee, smoking a cigarette and eating a cookie. Now you want to become someone who wakes up in the mornings and goes for a little walk to the bakery to get some fresh bread. Obviously, you will not start your day immediately with a cigarette, cookies and coffee. Instead, you will hopefully drink a glass of water, jump into your shoes, go to the bakery, come back and then start into your day. It's small things that need to be changed in order to change the big ones. Um, and then basically the last tip is to just rest more. Because when we are in constant doing mode, constant achieving and changing and thriving mode, which is obviously not, not negative, but it can also become too much and too overwhelming. And we just need to rest more in order to receive more, which maybe feels weird to you right now when you're programmed that only when you do, you receive. But actually, when you're in a complete state of relaxation, of peaceful, joyful gratitude in doing nothing and being nowhere, just here, right now, then you receive clarity, you receive peace of mind, you receive answers for like questions you had in mind and uncertainties. Um, you get solutions, you know, so just like rest more, be more present. And... Um, Yeah, so these were my steps and I hope you really like them. And a little conclusion is that the reconnection to yourself has the powerful side effect of infinite energy, intelligence and happiness. Your cup will overflow once you reconnect to yourself, find out who you want to become and take those actions according to it. Thank you so very much for watching. I really hope that you will find out what it is that you really want because I know it is not easy. I'm here with you, have been there and, and I'm still going through it to be honest. So I just hope we can all together become who we really want to be. Thank you so much for watching.